There were dramatic there were dramatic and unprecedented scenes on the set of The Voice last night when the judges clashed. Uh, Wolf Winters performed a powerful rendition of The Sound of Silence, but no judges turned their chairs. That is, until Guy Sebastian did, and there was just one little problem. Oh, silence. You can't do that. How is that possible? It's done. Wait, 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 guy. What are you doing? You're full. You can't have this man anyway. Um, I, my team is full. Yeah. Okay. No say. No. I just can't believe you didn't turn around for that. That is. I'm, I'm looking for something specific. How are you gonna tell me what to look for for my team? What's your name? Wolf. Yeah. Woof. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> I mean, I'm not surprised that your talking voice sounds like that. <laughs> um, look, I, I just think your voice is so unique and so crazy good, and I... Uh, cheating. you cheating. No, I'm not cheating. I you just... You are cheating. I don't know if I can turn for you, but... I, no, I, that's all right, man. I understand. Unless we can all do it. If we can all do it, great. There's some people you're lying out to lose that I'd like. I had to give you a chair yeah, well, turn anyway. Can you give us one sec? Hey. That's the executive producer. The other hand is not playing by the rules. And but I'm gonna... I, if so no, you I wouldn't said, no, take... No, you, w- you wouldn't take him at all. You First of all, don't make me take... look like the bad guy. You the one ain't following the rules. It's fair enough. We all would love another chair turn, actually. I... Look, no? I... Why can't I have one? If I tell I have two, I want to change the rules completely. A lot of the other judges are going to see, you know, once their teams are full, they're going to see uh, people, oh, bloody hell, I wish I had seen them first. But that's the rules. And I just think this was pretty, like, bad behaviour by Guy to do that and then turn to someone and say, you know, I can't believe you didn't turn your chair. The other thing is, um, Kelly Rowland, she wanted a female, and that's OK. She was trying to balance her numbers. That's mm. a good thing. Ben, this is cheating, and it is arrogant. <clears throat> What? It's cheating. Hang on, yeah. what? Yes. Yep. Yes. He. No, no, no. Knew you guys have missed the point. He. You guys have missed the point. Do you work in What's television? What's the point? What's the point? Do you work in television? Yeah. Do you, do you work in television? Okay, so The Voice doesn't make a star. The program The Voice is not about the singers. The program The Voice is about its judges, and the drama that goes on between them. To me, when I watch that, it looks like heavily put together drama, and it's the reason why I'm not watching The Voice this year. I watched the whole thing last year and loved it. I felt like this was mass-produced drama. I didn't see it as being very authentic. I thought that Guy Sebastian jumping in the way that he did seemed a little bit off-brand for him in a way. So, like, I think it was kind of put together in a way. Look, come on, look at the way that the judges circled around the chairs. And just remember, because I've watched The Voice and I've been there live, when they press the button on the buzzer, they have to use sound effects. They have to use a lot of things. And it was all ready to go for, like, why would they have the sound effects ready? Why would the chair even turn for Guy Sebastian? Because you know, no like, it'll judge all listen set up the like rules that. and press the button when they're not supposed to. Guy, and, I but don't you know think what? that was scripted at all. I genuinely don't. And I've worked in TV oh. and I know there's a lot of scripting and a lot of drama that goes at play. But I genuinely don't think this was a planned thing. I think Guy was just being a smart ass. And look, Guy's a nice guy and I'm not trying to speak, you know, to to throw the guy under the bus. But the simple fact is he had no um, team members left, no spaces left. He couldn't believe Kelly wasn't turning around for him and he tried to force her into taking him. He went, well, if I turn around, she's going to have to take him. And that's what he ended up saying, that you're not going to take him. This was a shitty move from him, I've got to say. I don't know. I've been on reality TV. I've never seen an executive producer be mic'd up, ready for some content like that. It seemed like he was mic'd up and ready to go. Maybe I've seen too much. Maybe I am a little bit sceptical because of what I know. Uh, the, the, the issue that I have, Ben, and I, I, you know, I, I hear your point, I hear Rob's point entirely. What I worry about is uh, it was a god-awful performance. I, oh, were we all Robert. hearing the same thing? That voice oh, was no. terrible. No, I like it. Was like, no, I liked it. <laughs> no. 
No, can I just it, say, it, though, it was unique in the way that it didn't get... It, it was unique in the way that it didn't hit a single note. It's the Ben, Rob and Rob, 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 Ben, Rob and Rob,